Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collection video and I don't think I have done this particular collection video in quite some time. And it is going to be my Louis Vuitton small leather goods collection. So before I get into this, I just have to caveat this by saying I am a little bit of a collector and I have had these pieces anywhere from 10 to 15 years. Now, do I go a little overboard when it comes to small leather goods? Yes. Do you need this many smaller the goods absolutely not but it's something about the colors that just draw me in you 100% do not need this many now another thing I want to put out there and I like to do this before collection videos as well in no way am I trying to brag or anything like this but this is actually a highly requested video and sometimes it's helpful to see people's collections because it can help you narrow down items that you want to add to your collection and items that you don't so without further ado we're going to get right into it so the way that I'm gonna probably do this, I'm gonna group them together. So a couple pieces I do have multiples of uh, because they are my favorite, so I'll just group them together. Now, I don't necessarily remember the names for every single piece, so just bear with me there. So I think we're gonna start with this piece right here. This is a check book cover, and this is from the men's collection, and this is in the Damier Graphite. Yes, I am one of those people that still writes checks. You never know when you're gonna have to write a check for that Girl Scout cookie, or some bills require checks. Now, do I write them as much anymore? No, I certainly don't, but I do still have this. So you can see it is in the Damier Graphite. On the inside, it says, made in France. It has three little little slots there and then this is where you can kind of attach your checks. So that is the first item. The next item is a monogram piece and this is the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso. I was so excited to get this piece. Now this is a good versatile piece because you can use it as your wallet and your key pouch as well. On the back here it has three little compartments for your cards. There is a larger compartment too. There is a spot on the front and this is where I keep a lot of my cards, maybe like my ID and major credit card. Then you also do have this zip compartment here. I do have some change on the inside currently and then it does also have this little d-ring in which you can attach your keys I love this piece it's definitely a great piece very 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 versatile and I have it in the monogram um, there is a little bit of tarnishing on the button which kind of stinks but I have really really used this I do have a little bit of glazing on it too but this is a really good piece but keep in mind with the Louis Vuitton items I've noticed that the little button always gets tarnished or if there is some leather on the button it does kind of peel off a little bit but this is a great piece and I was so happy to add it to my collection this next piece is from the Christmas Louis Vuitton Christmas animation and I had wanted this for so long and it is the round coin holder so on the front of it it is the Christmas animation and you can see Vivian, she is in the bumper cars. And then the other side is the Louis Vuitton monogram and it does have this red trim. On the inside here, it is shoved with change and coins and the inside is just a red and this one is made in France. So I initially had wanted just the monogram but then they were coming out with the Christmas animation I was able to get this from the boutique. So I was so excited to add this. I love that piece. It's very unique. Okay, I'm gonna start with my basic card holders. I have four to share. The first one that I have is, this is in the beautiful Dami Azur with the rose ballerine interior. I love this combination, it's so beautiful. You have a card slot here, you have a card slot here, and then there is a card slot in the middle. I actually prefer these, the cards that have the lower card slot. It makes it easier to get in and out of, so I have this one. I also have this this beauty right here, this is the monogram and you can see it has the Pivon interior. So there's one slot there, one slot here, which I have a gift card, and then on the inside there. And these card holders are good. You can put cards on the side and then you can put a little bit of cash. So you can see the differences there. This card slot comes down a little further. So I have that one. Then I have this beauty. This right here is from the By the Pool collection and it is the M Prant version. There is a card slot here, a card slot here, and then 
there is a large compartment here in which once again that's where I put cash but you don't have to you can use it for strictly cards but it's really really beautiful I love the pink and then the ombre so lovely and then the final one card holder that I have is this this is in the monogram eclipse and I got this because I wanted it to go with my outdoor messenger bag and this one has two card slots here two on the side and then it has a spot on the inside in which you can put cards or cash same type of thing so for the cards I have four different cards Moving right along, this was from the watercolor collection, and this right here is a pencil pouch. However, I got it because I wanted to use it for, you know, lipsticks and a nail file, and that is how I use it. And this does fit in a good amount of my purses, but you can see the beautiful watercolor. I mean, oh my God, these are the type of small other goods that I can't resist when these collections come out. But it has the silver LV, and then you open it it unzips and this one is made in Spain and you can see the beautiful blue interior so this is a great item like I said I do not use it for pens or pencils you definitely can but I'll put like lipsticks and that sort of thing but this was so unique I definitely wanted to add that to my collection all right, let's talk about an item I'm not currently using because I'm using my bigger notebook, but this is my pocket agenda. I used this last year. Um, I use this for like appointments for my daughters, like sports and stuff. So this is the pocket agenda. And then you open it up and you guys, I have told you so much about these little dashboard covers. I get them from Missy Bello Planner on Etsy. I will link them down below. I love them, they're so cute. I mean, look at this. Oh, she's drinking her coffee. She has her little book bag. So I love these. But anyway, I got that. And then this is where I keep like all of my inserts. I have done dedicated videos and stuff like that, but I can link my inserts. But this is a great, great piece if you're looking for a little pocket agenda, not for your whole entire entire schedule but just little things and I use this specifically for my daughter's sports doctor's appointments that type of thing all right let's talk about the zippy coin I have two the first zippy coin this one is special to me because I did get this in Vegas and it is from the multicolor collection this color is so beautiful this is what attracted me to Louis Vuitton I always mention that Jessica Simpson is actually she's the person who really got my eyes on Louis Vuitton when she used to carry her speedy 35 and the multicolor was so pretty but I got this one it is in the black multicolor and then on the inside wait until you see the inside it is the most beautiful purple it is so so purple I love it now this one I actually had to take it to Louis Vuitton and get it repaired because I had overstuffed it so much that the zipper pull came out so they did replace that for me but this is so beautiful I did a comparison between this wallet and I think the Rosalie as well in case you're interested but you can see the beautiful inside so I have this one and then I saw this collection. Oh my God, how pretty. I think this was Spring in the City, I think. I don't know, but you can tell that whenever these like beautiful pops of color come out, I can't resist. But this one is just so lovely. And then on the inside, it does have the beautiful pink. Like, look at that. I just love that. So I love these. These are good. I usually put cards on one side, fold it up cash on the other, but these are great little wallets if you're looking for a good compact wallet. So I have two of these. Okay, sticking with wallets, let's talk about my favorite compact wallet. And it is my Rosalie, and I have three Rosalie wallets. The first one I have is the basic monogram with the Rose Ballerine. I love this. And you open it up. This one is made in Spain. But here's why I love this so much, is you have a little zip compartment in which you can put coins. Then you can put all of your cards, and you can put a little bit of cash in the back. And this is just great, especially if you're someone who is a card girl and you want to worry about putting like inserting the cards into the slots it just makes it really easy so I have this one this was the first one I got and then this one is from the wild at heart collection it is black and it has white and then the pink and the yellow love this and this is just it's the same where you have the compartment for your card you have a little zip compartment for your coins this is such a good wallet i love it again one of my favorite compact wallets and then i also have this little impromptu version in the pink it has the little button closure and then you open it up 
same setup as well. So I love this. I would recommend if you are looking for a good compact wallet, this one is so good. I love it, you guys, which is why I have it in multiple colors. Okay, I'm going to try to move along so this video is not too long. Otherwise, this could be very, very long. I want to talk about a small leather good. This is from the Room with a View collection. So this actually came with a bag but I'm including it as a smaller than good because I love it so again this is from the men's collection room with a view it came with my bag I will insert a picture of my bag and you have the ability to attach it as a charm if you want but I just use it as a key pouch so I'll attach my keys here and then I'll put like cash and cards on the inside here but look how pretty this is so this gives the illusion you're looking through the window and you can see like the beautiful horizon and sunset it is just so pretty and then it has the monogram eclipse in the background silver hardware and then this one is made in France and the interior is just a black interior but I love this again so pretty and you can tell I love myself some watercolors and bright colors let's talk about the Louis Vuitton key clay I love this I have four so starting with the first one this is in the beautiful like pink and prime it is so so pretty gold hardware you open it up it does I have some change in there now you also have a little D ring in which you can put your attach your keys to I love these little guys when it comes to just easy grab and go I see these are some of the best you put your cards cash keys easy go to the gym you don't need a purse or anything so I love these so much they're so hard to get but I love these so I have this one then I have the classic monogram Again, same setup, has the brown interior, love this too. And I have this beauty right here. This is one of my favorite small leather goods. It is so pretty. When I saw that they were coming out with a key clay in this collection, and I'm not sure what the collection, the name of the collection is, I'm so sorry, but it is so, so pretty. So it has the silver hardware, and then you have the silver D-ring as well. This is one of my favorites for sure. If I had to pick one of my favorite small leather goods, it's from this collection. And it's hard to pick up, but there's almost like an iridescent shift. And then I have this one, which is in the monogram eclipse. So one side is the black with the gray LVs. And then you have the other side, which is the gray and the black. And this matches my outdoor messenger bag. You open it up and then same thing. It has just the little D ring. These are great. If you can get your hands on them, I would highly recommend them. They're so good. All right, let's talk about the mini pochette. Now keep in mind, the mini pochette now is going for like $765 that or maybe more at this point I got mine when they were around 325 365 so they are so expensive now but I want to share with you the ones that I have I do have the classic monogram and these are great because you can fit quite a lot in here if you want to use it as like a keep all in your purse like if you want to keep you know makeup and hand sanitizers and then you can see this one has the brown interior this one is also made in France. Then I have the Damier Aben as well. And the interior, this is the beautiful red interior. I love the combination of the Damier Aben and the red as well. It looks so beautiful. I love this one. And then my prized possession, and this one I actually purchased on Fashion Fire because I was not able to get it in the store, but it's from the beautiful Ascal collection. Oh my gosh, this is another one of those collections from Louis Vuitton that I'm like, I need to have every piece, and you'll see, I do have a couple. So stay tuned, I have a couple more from this collection, but you have the beautiful LVs with like the pastel colors, and then you can see on that side, it has the silver hardware, and then let me show you on the inside. The inside is like a periwinkle blue. This is so, so pretty, you guys. As I stated, if you're like an SLG or handbag collector, Louis Vuitton is troublesome, especially when they bring out the beautiful small leather goods. This one actually is made in France as well, but this is so, so pretty. So small leather goods are great. I'm glad that I got the ones I did at the price I did. Now, would I pay today's price? I guess it's all relative. If you don't own a mini pochette and you really, really want one and it's your first one, 
one, I guess, but I do not think I would buy another one at today's prices, but that could be because I was able to get them at the old prices. But they are super functional, super cute. I love them for keep alls in your purse or even just another little mini bag too. Let's talk about the little toiletry pouches. Now, I do not have the trifecta. I just have two of them. This is the little cutie. This is the 15. You can see this one is made in Spain. And then on the interior, you can see the really pretty little like beige interior. And then I do also have the 19 as well. And for the 19, I do also have a little organizer. My organizers are from Zumoni. If you're interested, I have a 20% off code. I'll put it up on the screen, but I have two of them. I have the 15, the 19, but I do not own the 26. And I remember these were so hard to get. And one year my sales associate was like, oh, I have two of them. And I was like, oh, I definitely would love them because these are great for travel or you can use these in your purse to keep lipsticks in or hand sanitizer, that sort of thing. But love both of these. Okay, I have a couple more uh, key pouches that I want to share. So once again, from the multicolor collection, I have this little guy. And I love this because it has a little compartment here in which you can put your cards. The other side, again, is blank. But you open it up and wait until you see the interior. It is so pretty. This one has like a really pretty berry interior and this is made in Spain. But again, look how lovely. I just love this collection. I wish they would bring it back. I really do. I do not own a handbag from this collection, but I have definitely considered going on the pre-love market and getting one because it's just so, so pretty and colorful and it just makes you happy. So I have that one. Then I have this one. This blue came out. I want to say it may have come out around the Valentine's Day time. They had a blue one and they had a pink one. And I fell in love with this blue one. And this is in the vernis. It's like really shiny. It has gold hardware. Again, it's a key pouch. Here's the inside is blue. And then you have the little D ring. So I, I love to change out my small other goods. So even though I know that I have a lot, I do try to change them out. And this one is just so pretty. And then one of my like most used small other goods is probably the key pouch here, the Emprunt key pouch. I have you done so many videos about this. This is so old. It might even be discontinued, unfortunately. But this one is great. You can see I've used it so much that it is completely almost tarnished all the way off it has a zipper compartment on the back and then there is this this one right here is made in France you open it up it has a little D ring here so usually when I use it I'll put my keys attached then on the back it has since it has a zipper I will put like some cash or some cards this is just such a good one and the emprunt version it is so like flexible and stretchy it's just so easy to use so I love this one Okay, I am coming down to the wire so I won't take up too much of your time. Next, I want to talk about the six ring key holder and I have two of them to share. The first one is the Empreinte version. So this one I have gotten because I wanted it to match my Pochette Matisse. And you can see you open it. This one is made in France. It has the six key rings and then there is a compartment in the back. I always say that I wish Louis Vuitton would have closed off this compartment so that when you put your cards in, you don't feel like it's gonna fall out. Now, knock on wood, I have not had any issues with it falling out, but it just would give you a little more security if that spot was enclosed. But there's this one. And then I also do have this one in the Damier Aben with the Rose Ballerine. You can see the little button closure starting to peel off a little bit, but I do use this a lot. The Rose Ballerine interior, again, has the same slot on the back. And I would say between these two, even though I love Emprunt, I use this one a lot more than I do the black, which I know is surprising because you know how much I love my black Pochette Matisse, but I definitely use this one more than this one. I find this one to be a little more flexible. Maybe this one will bend a little more over time, but this one looks almost like a little not quite as long as the other one. So I have two of those. And again, those are really great. They are a little hard to get as well. Let's talk an about another beautiful wallet. And it is my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. And this is from the Escal collection. Again, I had to have a few pieces from this collection because it's so beautiful. So this one is not quite as like compact as the Rosalie. So I definitely prefer the Rosalie. But if you want like a regular standard wallet, this is a good one because you have the card slot you have the 
billfold here. And then there is also a zip compartment in which you can put um, some change on the inside. So again, this is a beautiful wallet. This one in particular is made in Italy, but so, so beautiful. So, so lovely. Next item is from the men's collection as well, and it is the Louis Vuitton coin card holder, and it is in this beautiful Miami green. This is really cool because there is a compartment here where you can put some cash. On the other side, it has three spots, and there is another spot there, and then there is a zip compartment as well in which you can put some cash. Now, I will be honest, these can be a little stiff. I don't use this as much as I would like, but it is so beautiful. You cannot resist the color. This one, it came out in the green. I think there was also like a neon yellow, but I could not resist this beautiful green color. Okay, we are coming down to the wire. I have one, two, three, five more pieces to share. Let's talk about the little pocket organizers. And again, when you see these, you'll be like, oh, I knew you were gonna get those when they came out. But I have two little pocket organizers. These are again from the men's collection. This one, so this one's from the watercolor collection. So you can see it has the LV on it. And then the back, there is a little slot if you wanna put your, your card. And then on the inside here, it's a beautiful blue. This one is made in Spain. This is so, so pretty. This is a good item to use if you're someone that doesn't carry a lot of cards at all and you just you know want to put a couple cards maybe a little bit of cash so I have this one and then this one oh my god it's so beautiful but I can't remember the name of the collection but again look at the colors so it is another pocket organizer you have the slot on the back and then you open it up and there are some spots on the inside so I do have two of these and again I don't use them as much as I would like but if you're someone that doesn't carry a lot of cards, these are very, very nice. Okay, coming down to the wire, let's talk about another cute little wallet, and it is the Zoe wallet. And I have the Zoe wallet in the Damien Aben with the rose ballerine. You can see this is great because it has a little pocket on the back. You open it up. It's a really cute, compact little wallet. You have a couple credit card slots, and then there is a billfold, and then there is a very tiny little compartment if you want to keep some change. This is so cute. I have definitely wanted to get the imprint version because I have found that this one can be a little stiff. So because of that, that's another reason I do reach more for my Rosalie because even though the Rosalie is a little bit bigger, I just find this one easier to use. But the great thing about the Zoe wallet is this back pocket. So if you want to put your ID for easy access, that is a huge, huge nice feature of this. I have another item from the Escal collection and this is the Kuragami set and this is really really cool because it's the Escal collection so you have the beautiful pastels and I have I will pop up a picture I have used this bag as um, a little clutch when I went on a date night with my husband you open it up you can see it has the pink interior and there is another little wallet and this one is like the blues and then you open this one up and then there is another item here and this has like the pinks and the reds. Now, out of all of these, I use the large one as a clutch and then I will use this one as like a little card holder. This one is made in France. You can see the interior is red, but it's neat because they all three come together and they all kind of have like different uses. I did do a dedicated video in case you want more detail on it, but these are so pretty. The colors, you can't deny, they are so lovely. But I really thought this was cool. I had considered getting the monogram one, but then I thought, once again, I don't need it. So, but this is so, so pretty. Love that. Okay, the final small other good I have is probably one of my oldest Louis Vuitton pieces. And it is from the multicolor collection. And you can see it is this little pochette here. And look how old it is. Like you can see the corners have really, really patina. They're actually very dirty, but I used this so much. I don't believe they make this anymore, like this style, but you can use it as like a little shoulder bag. As you see, it would actually match my shirt today. This is actually a skims top. It is just, um, this is like a skims bodysuit. I will link it down below. Oh, do you hear that plane going overhead? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, but this one here, so cute. I would use it as a wallet. And then on the inside, there is a lot 
of space. So this is nice if you don't want to have a wallet that has compartments and you just want to throw your things. You can throw cash, cards, lipstick, anything. A lot of stuff fits in here and I love this. This is one of my oldest pieces and it is just so, so pretty and beautiful. And then I'm not sure if these would count as small other goods, but I do also own the DOP kit in which I use for travel and I use that to carry all of my makeup in. I also do have the Nice BB in which I carry for travel and that's what I have all of like my skincare items in. I think I've mentioned that. And then I also do have the Nice Nano which is the cutest little guy and that's where I keep like lipsticks and stuff, but I'm not sure if those would be more so travel pieces, but I just wanted to mention them in case. So as you can tell, I do have quite the collection of small leather goods. Once again, you don't need this many, but I am a bit of a collector and I am gonna try to be a little more mindful though, because there was a while where anytime a new small leather good would come out that had like a pretty color, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. But I have been good lately when it comes to not just splurging and getting the small leather goods, because honestly, you guys, let's be honest, Honest, right small other goods like by the time you purchase a couple small other goods you could have purchased a bag and that's what I often think of when I look at these I'm like oh my gosh for four of them I could have purchased a bag so sometimes I think we can get a little carried away when we see the beautiful colors so I definitely am going to make an attempt to try to be a little better when it comes to not purchasing small other goods so anyway I will try my hardest to find all these items and link them down below in case you're interested and if you have any questions about any of them or how I use any of them or how I'm liking any of them please feel free to reach out and I would love to know what is your favorite Louis Vuitton small leather good. Which one can you not live without? I think for me, the Rosalie is one of my favorite compact wallets. And then obviously I love this Louis Vuitton key pouch as well. These are just so good, so cute, so easy to use. I just adore them. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you hit that little subscribe button. And I would love to be following me on Instagram as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if there's anything else you would love to see, please feel free to comment down below. I I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Wish me the